So if I had a new client came in, that's kind of how it would work. Mm -hmm. They're gonna come in with a problem, they're gonna tell us what's going on, and explain to us, and then we're gonna help fashion a goal around that problem so that we know where we're going, and that puts all of our muscle testing in the context. So then any kind of weakness will show up in relation to the goal. Okay, what's going on with you? I have this pain in my, like, my side of my neck shoulder. Okay. I get it when I eat, so it's like my stomach gets triggered, and then it goes up into my shoulder. Okay. And a little bit in the back behind my shoulder. Okay, so right shoulder stuff. Is it active right now? Um, yeah, I do feel okay. it triggered. Did you eat this morning, stomach. you said? Yeah. And in the stomach? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and like so you feel something? Something. Okay, you're feeling something right here, mm -hmm. maybe reflux. Mm -hmm. Okay, the reflux, she feels some stuff right there. To me, that's you're talking about gall Okay. I don't want to overstate that, but that's a referral common pattern. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's our symptom. Mm -hmm. What do you want to happen? What's that keeping you from doing? Um, it keeps me from like, feeling joy, yeah. or feeling calm. So, how do you want to feel instead? Joy in my body. Okay. If that were real, how would you say say it? Did it happen now? State it like it's happening. I'm doing this. Put your arms up. Clear that for a second. Okay. We're going to do some pre checks. Cover here. We're going to get right to your collarbone and around these buttons. Give me 20 seconds. Okay. Now we're, we're close to a goal statement or what we want to do. Switch your hands. So, okay. Bottom and top lip. Central and governing. Okay, you tell me. Arm, bring it down a little bit, hold. Can you tug your hair a little bit? Mm -hmm. Good. Let me see both arms. Put that down. That works. Good. Hold. Good. Now we're back to that goal we talked about. Okay. We saw the muscle works, we kind of turn on some circuitry so the brain's talking to it well. And now we want to see what a truth looks like. What's your name? Miranda. Say my name is Miranda. My name is Miranda. Good. Say my name is Barbara. I don't know who Barbara is. My name is Barbara. Oh, that's not the truth. Say my name is Miranda. My name is Miranda. Oh, so that's a congruent truth so the subconscious knows that's the truth. And something that's not the truth, that is 1% not the truth, is just not the truth. We'll get some kind of scrambling in the nervous system that the muscle just can't pull strong. It's either on or it's off. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the we talked about again. Pain here. Mm -hmm. If you had to rate that, what would that be? Zero to ten. What'd you call it? Uh, it's like a four. About a four? Okay. What about the stomach? That's more like a five. Four or five? Four for this? Okay. We'll check in when we're done. That statement, how we want to feel instead. Mm -hmm. What was it? I am joyous. Say that. I am joyous. I am joyous. And hold that. Mm -hmm. Say, I'm not joyous. I'm not joyous. And hold that. I am joyous. I am joyous. <laughs> See the difference there? Yeah. What we want to happen, your your body just doesn't believe. Yeah. Right? It's just saying the truth right now. But we want to be there. We want to be joyous. We, we know why you said that. If you want to feel that way in your body, right? Mm -hmm. but if you felt that way, that just couldn't be there. Right? Or this couldn't be. Yeah. All right? Can you take your shoes off? Mm -hmm. And let's go ahead and lay on your back. And we're just going to go through 14 muscles. Hopefully I can remember them all if you want to follow along in your book. <laughs> we'll start with the supraspinatus. You just think about that goal. Okay. okay. We had four or five pain level with the shoulder and the stomach. Supraspinatus. Hold here. I'm going to push in this direction, okay? Hold that right there. Good. So we're about 30 degrees up and out. Hold again. Let's get a teeny squish to it. 
Let's go. Right there. That would feel better. Feel yeah. solid that way. Feel the move. Let's get a little squish to it. Yep. We're going to rub right in there. Can you rub right in there almost mm -hmm. the armpit? Or the center spot? It's a lymphatic spot. I'm going to hit the one right on the neck. that button right there. Hold it again. See how that goes a little bit weak? Yeah. Didn't pass our challenge. So we know we need to do something else. We got to do these blood flow points now. So that's good. Touch those buttons right there where it wasn't for that for the light. Yep. Hold it again. Yeah, good. Let it go. If you like that. All right, can you scoot to the edge of the table a little bit? I'm going to have you tuck under like this. Push your elbow to the floor straight down. And you hold down. That moves. Scoot over there and do the same thing. Terry's major. Same thing, let it fall down. Push down. Hold that down. That's how it works pretty good. Let's scoot back over here. Try that side again, push it down. That one does not work. Mm -hmm. okay. Mike's right there. They're going to go close to where we were, but a little bit towards the sternum, right there. Can you run in there? Mm -hmm. The second and third ring. I'm just getting there right behind it, do the same thing in the back. Sure they, governing the channel. So probably some blood flow. Go to the neurovascular points right on the temple. Um, Terry's major. Right behind. Tuck under right there. Push down. Good. Touch right there. And hold it down. Yay. Okay. Okay. Go back to the center. I'm gonna put your glass on. All right. So that was the central and governing area to get balance, basically. Now we're going to do the twelve. Bring this straight up in the air. Turn. I'm gonna push that way. You hold right here. Okay. Hold right there. Good. Let it go. And this one. Straight. Hold right there. That's solid. Let mm -hmm. me see this one one more time. Yeah, I'm going back and forth because that one felt good until I saw how good that one could work. <laughs> right? But that one just doesn't even move. That's 100%. This one's like 90. Mm -hmm. But not 100. That means it could be 100. Um, so that's stomach. The left side, probably right where your bra is. The rub in between the ribs right there, between the fifth and sixth rib. On the side there? 
So it's going to be from the sternum all the way out. From earlier, we talked about the ribs down here, so probably here. And I'm going to go right behind the fifth and sixth rib. Usually where your bra line will be sitting. Sometimes those heavy wires with mm -hmm. a lot of pressure mm -hmm. and it just can't let the lymph move through there. So you gotta get your fingertips in there and get that stuff moving. If we're taking deep breaths and we're moving daily and these muscles are working, our intercostals are working, then those deep breaths will be moving that rib cage apart like that, right? And we'll be pumping all those lymph areas for us. If it's tender, we most likely have been shallow breathing, not exercising those muscles at all, not moving, because it hasn't been moving that lymph along. Right? Okay. So we had to rub that left side with the muscles on this side because it relates to the organ. Hold you. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Like this side now, probably. Yeah. yeah. Touch that button one more time. Do that. Make sure. Go. Cool. Good. Mm. Next one. Latissimus dorsi. We're going to turn in. Hold your hip right there. Good. We just keep thinking about high end joints. Hold it Not the same. Mm. <laughs> that one, you were close. This one. We're going to go down on the rib. Okay. Right in there. Or maybe over here. Find the tender spot. A little bit lower. Is it? Yeah. I would give these as homework a lot because lymph only moves with so much every day and it's tender. Easy homework. Go rub that the next couple days a few times a day. Drink some water, move around, hopefully. So distribute and won't be feeling that tender. Spin it in, hold it tight right. Good, that's good. <laughs> Cover right there. Hold it in. Hold it in. Let's see how it goes weak <laughs> as soon as you touch it. <laughs> Let it go. You like lymph and blood with all these muscles. No, we're going to the neurovascular point. I like this part. Oh, yeah. That's right. You've taken cranial cycle. Yeah, okay. yeah, these vascular points and blood flow to the muscle we're talking about at the organ. But also, different parts of the brain. Pretty relaxing for the nervous system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Turn it in. I, I can touch it. Hold that right there. Good. So that's our little challenge to test the muscle, rub something, check it that it's strong, but we're going to make sure it's strong. So we challenge the button that we just worked with to see if we need to do something else. So then we add reflexes behind that. Now we're going to do subscapularis like this. Hold your wrist down. Hold mm -hmm. it up. Keep thinking about your goal. Hold your wrist down. Yep, that works. So left side. Substapulators. Do that one again. Hold it down. No. So you're going to rub between the second and third, like we did on that side, but on this side, close to the sternum left right there. It's under there, too. Mm -hmm. Point. I was the one we started with earlier on the top of the head that relates to this different muscle but the same point. That anterior fontanelle, the baby soft spot. Mm -hmm. 
question. What was your goal again? I am blessed. Good. We're talking about the heart right now. It's mm -hmm. heart emotions. Let it go. So now we're going to add the meridian. Our heart meridian starts at the armpit and goes up to the pinky. I'm just going to swipe through that a few times right up to the pinky. Let's see if that works. Not all of that. Pretty good? Yeah. Take your thumb and go like that. Okay. So you're touching the end of the heart meridian. Okay. Hold it right there. See how it turns off again? Yeah. yeah let it go. We're going to go to the origin insertion of the muscle. This is subscapularis. It's not easy to get to the origin because it's mm -hmm. under the scapula. So, there's a little bit of deep tissue knowledge. Sometimes we mm -hmm. get close. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Really? It's tender. Right on the front of the shoulder with the tendon so we can work mm -hmm. that a little bit. That's tender now too. Yep. Yeah. And I'm kind of into the belly a little bit, but I'm not putting you excruciating. <laughs> so I was basically on pulled the scapula out a little bit and kind of my thumb went to the belly of it. Hold down. Good. Touch right there where the tendon is and hold it again. Okay. We need everything we we're doing in this class here. So we have lymph, blood, chi, and then actual muscle. And that it finally woke up. <laughs> we need to do few things without. Good. Now, next one. Quadriceps. Bend your knee. That. What up? Hold towards your head. Good. Put your foot up to the ceiling. Straight. Good. Hold the whole leg up. Good. See how I kind of did three parts of that? Bring this up. Hold your knee towards your head. Good. Put your foot straight up. Good. Hold the whole leg up. That works. Good. That was quadriceps. Now, next one, peroneus. It's the side of the ankle right here. So pull your ankle up and out. Keep that up and out like that. Hold right there. Good. Look at Spin that way up and out. Hold up and out like that. Good. There you go. Now, so that. You keep your knee straight and come straight up in the air. Hold that up right there. Hold it up. Good. Rotate. Pick it up. Hold it straight up. No. <laughs> that did not work. So, yeah. So, we're going to go belly button, out an inch, up an inch. Right on the skin. Can you find that little tender spot right there with your fingertip? Sometimes it's like the size of a dime. And the skin almost feels like it's mm -hmm. a fascia stuck right there. There's a little spot. And then there's a little spot in the back. Yeah. So this one you want to work like it's a little stuck fascia. See if you can move the skin around there. Touch that again. There you go. Hold it. Cool. So what needed was one blood flow for that one. So as now we're to glute medius. Way out to the side. Hold out to the side right there. Good. Bring it way out. Hold it out. Yeah, it's not working. Yeah. Glute medius. This one is on 
the pubic symphysis. So find your bone right there in the center. With the upper edge all the pubic symphysis. The tender where your abs attach. Yeah. A little, probably a little nodule or something. Check mm -hmm. the right side. You probably won't find the same thing. Feel it? Is it right there where your pubic symphysis comes together? Yeah. It's a joint too, and it, it's in good alignment. Great. We're both tender, but the left is. Probably because there was a weakness on the side. So you're going to rub right on the upper edge right there, and I'm going to go right to like L5 area in the back. Mm -hmm. so work it. I'm going to teach classes in North Carolina. It's a big aerobics room. It looks like a timeshare community. People would walk by. <laughs> and I had a whole bunch of students doing these points. These are some inner thigh points. And these tourists were like, oh, I'm going to buy a timeshare. Oh my God. A class full of people. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not at this facility. <laughs> this is therapeutic. <laughs> Out. Push it up. Yes. Oh. Touch that spot. Hold it up. Yeah. All right, this medius. Circulation. Next meridian, and we're going around our little circle. Triple warmer. This is Terry's minor. We did Terry's major earlier, like this. It's Terry's minor. Holds out like that. Good. Hold out like that. Good. And now the anterior deltoid. That's what we started with our indicator muscle, but now it's in relation to this goal. I enjoy this. Pull straight up. That muscle could be there. Pull that one straight up. Do a little solid out move. This guy. So we go first and second. Can you rub between these guys right here? Mm -hmm. Find the tender spot. And this one on the right is pretty common. I am joyous. Uh -huh. Straight up. Hold there. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Touch that again. Hold again. A little bit. Uh -huh. more blood flow. Touch the top of your head. Okay. Mm -hmm. You good? Let me see this one. Compare. Oh, yeah. This one. Solid. This one. Still could be better, huh? Touch right up there one more time. Okay. Pretty good. So that's the gallbladder line. Mm -hmm. Where I said at the beginning it sounded like a gallbladder kind of thing. Yeah. Just the referral pattern. Yeah. Right. That starts here, it's forward, and it runs here all the way down to your ring toe. So we're going to swipe that guy, and it kind of looks like this. It kind of zigzags, goes right to the point we're talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> down the side, all the way down to this guy. So sometimes it's a long thing that we're, we need to swipe all the way down. I like to touch the beginning of it and the end of it. Gallbladder. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I'm running down here, last toe. Hold here. 
So I can check it just by touching the end of it, or she can touch the other end. Can you touch right next to your temple? I knew that worked because how fast you raise your arm up. Yeah. Do it again. It just comes up super solid right to me. The whole energy on the side of my body feels stronger. Yeah. You got some gold on energy. Okay. Right, that guy. Next one. You just goes down and in there. Good. So pick it. Start with that. Spin. Put that way. Good. Work. Serratus. Here, reach up a little bit and hold that way. Reach up a little bit. Hold that. Good. Work. Two more. Fascia lateral. Here, and spin. Bring it way up. Hold up and out. Okay. Good. Spin it. Hold up and out. Not like the other side. <laughs> Fascia lateral. So that's going to be the whole IT band. Let's see if this works. Lymphatics. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Oh, way up and up. Good. Put your hand right there on this butt. Let's see. Hold it again. Yeah. All right. That's 14 muscles. Can you sit up? Get your bearing straight. Check your. Goal statement. I am Julius. Okay. Hold that. Good. And check in with stomach. Where's that at now? So that was like a five. Yeah, I don't feel it. You don't feel it? I forgot about it. <laughs> the shoulder was the main thing we talked about. Mm -hmm. That was at a four. What do you think? Yeah, it's fine. Dawn? Yeah. Like the, we have another day and have this class. <laughs> Cool. Keep the change. <laughs>